cheese wheel rolls to an end in cowboy country, Dallas, Texas. Just down the street from Southern Methodist University is a college hangout that started the king of all campus crazes in the Lone Star State. That A-plus combo of cheese and fries. Welcome to Snuffer's Restaurant and Bar. Everything they make here is delicious. It's the best around. It's one of those places you have to go when you're in town. For this place to be around for as long as it has, it tells you that they've been doing something right. There's a huge selection of beer, burgers, and munchies here. But what keeps them coming back every time is the cheddar fries. An insane pile of potatoes hidden under a thick layer of cheese. No one makes them like the snuffers. It's the cheesiest and best food of all time. Inspired by students' requests for cheese-topped fries, this simple but delicious culinary innovation quickly took the city and the world by storm. But these aren't just any ordinary cheese fries. The key to Snuffer's cheddar fries starts with freshly grated aged Wisconsin cheddar. The cheese is better than the I mean, um, that's just what it comes down to. The other essential ingredient, of course, is the fries. Snuffer's hand cuts their fries from fresh Idaho potatoes every morning. Take a fresh Idaho potato. They go through the king cut machine here. These are our fresh cut potato fries and or cheddar fries. We go through about 5,000 pounds of potatoes a week. The fresh cut fries are deep fried and then cheesed up with their special two-part melting process. We're covering the potato fries with the cheddar cheese. We're gonna melt this, which only takes a minute. This we're gonna melt first. Up top here, on this first melt we're doing here, it takes a little bit longer just because the cheese is a little bit lower from the top of the heating elements there. That's about right. Next, a second layer of fries is added, along with even more cheddar. And it all goes back under the broiler for a second melt, until it's time to add the tempting toppings. Over here, I'm applying the fresh bacon, adding the chives, and we're adding the jalapenos. That's about it. These are the cheddar fries and snuffers. It's all served up with Snuffers homemade ranch dressing. You can order these fries single, small, or large. But you might want to consult your cardiologist first. They're soaked in cheese. There's actually not a part of them that's not covered in cheese. We'd rather eat the cheddar than the fries. Sometimes you will just scoop it up and just eat the cheese. So these cheddar fries, I got some bacon on them, I got some chives, I got some jalapenos, and lots of cheddar cheese. Just dip them in some ranch. There's nothing better. I get the large because they don't make an extra large. <laughs> if they did, I'd get that one. Snuffers has been a winner with both locals and the college crowd since opening back in 1978. Over three decades later, they're still family owned and operated. The Snuffers been around in Dallas for a long time. People know them, they know everything about them. That's what makes it fun. This Dallas institution was built on a foundation of fries and cheese. But Snuffers also has some of the city's juiciest burgers. And if you're in a rush, why not try their cheddar fries burger? It's the best of both worlds. It's really good uh, juicy beef patty. It's got smothered cheddar fries on top of it that are, that are really good. It's just, it's a smorgasbord of flavors. Although the business has expanded to keep everyone in Dallas happy, Snuffer's original concept remains the same. Serve the freshest, most flavorful food at affordable prices. And fries with a boatload of cheese. There's other restaurants around that try to imitate the cheddar fries, but they don't come close. If you were cheese, this is where you'd want to be. Laying right on top of this, getting ready for me to put my fork in, mix it all up, and then get you some of this, all right? Whether it's Greektown's original flaming Saganaki, legendary smothered cheese fries in Texas, or an East Coast, West Coast mac and cheese matchup, we're always ready and willing to say cheese.